Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to give remote access to um, to your database to other people. So this means that other people can access your database. Okay, um, first, the first thing you need um, is HadeSQL. The person that you're giving access to also needs HadeSQL. Also, just go to Google and search HadeSQL. And right here, just download. Simple as that. Okay, um, now once you have that HadeSQL, you're going to want to open it. And um, you're going to want to click New, New Connection, name it, your server name, and host name. Um, if you're um, if you if you're just if you're trying to log in, just leave it like this. Username is root. Um, password for the repack that I use it's um ascent, and for Jovit repack it's root. Um. Oh wait, hold on. Um, I forgot to mention. Um, you you need to start MySQL. It's needed. You need to start it. Okay. Um. Now go up top right here. You'll see a little icon like this. Click it and then um. Click on global access right here. And username. Um. This is what the username will be for the other person that will log in. Make sure to make it good. Like. Like uh something hard like something like that I don't know the password make sure it's good too okay from host this is where you're gonna put you're gonna have to ask them for you um, their IP so their external IP um, to find their external IP you're gonna want to go to um, what is my my IP com and this is IP okay um, now you're gonna wanna copy that and paste it right there just gonna put a random IP okay um, now that that's done right here um, make sure to leave this little number sign I mean the percent sign and um, all privileges if you want them um, here are the privileges you want them to have or if you want to give them all privileges make sure global access is selected and um, if you made it with caps the password like with caps lock um, uh, make sure it has to be um, it doesn't it could be caps lock but when they log in they have to put that caps lock too so make sure everything's perfect okay now Okay, now click add user. Right here, you can give them global access or like. Yeah, global access right here. Now you just click add user. And that's it. Okay, well, thanks for watching my tutorial on how to give access to other people to your database. Um, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and, and bye.